It's T, and today we are going to be making a prison cake. Yeah, that little thing I threw behind me, that was a cooler I got from work. They actually sent me a corporate cooler of meat from corporate. I got, like, a cooler of burgers from my job. I actually really like my job. Anyways, guys, today we are going to be doing something a little different, a little interesting. I'm deciding to turn my channel into a culinary channel. Next up, we're going to be doing uh, sushi. Unfortunately, I don't have like a culinary hat or something, so uh, this is just going to have to do the job. Maybe I can go by Burger King, pick up a crown. It's basically the same thing, right? Anyways, basically, I watched this show called After Prison Show on YouTube, right? It's a guy who went to prison, he got out, and he shares with us some of the things he did in prison, some of his stories, and some of the little things he would cook while in prison because you can actually kind of make meals out of the commissary items you get the things you can actually make in prison blow my damn mind from anything from food items to burritos to tattoo guns to cake which you only use like a couple of things for absolutely just blew my mind and this looked ridiculously simple all you need are a few things that could honestly be boiled down to one or two things he took some cookies like some oreo cracker cookies and somehow made that into like a cake batter and made it into like a fluffy cake and i was like there's no way this actually works so what i've decided to do is i'm going to actually try this out myself and see if this actually works like he shows it off at that is one layer of prison cake right there we're gonna need some butter a very tiny trace amount of butter we're gonna need some soda and we're going to need oreos or knockoff oreos that's it we're gonna run up to the store grab what we need and i'm going to show you guys the extremely simple process of how this actually works she said that she liked her when my sushi I ended up spending 50. First off, we got a little Mother's Day paraphernalia, some Voss, because the sparkling is actually pretty good. Some Fiji, because I just like buying expensive water. A uh, coffee that's supposed to be like a draft latte. Pepsi, more Mother's Day paraphernalia. Thin Mint cereal, Lean Cuisine, Hot Pockets, more Mother's Day paraphernalia, and our cheap Oreo knockoffs, because that's all we can get in prison. However, oh f I actually just broke the water. I didn't actually mean to knock this one off. There is nobody in the history of anything on YouTube that has spelt more shit off of their desk than me. I'm actually really, really pissed off about this, but I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna finish this video because I'm really excited to be doing this, and hopefully if I ever hit that $100 threshold on my monetization, this will be the first thing I buy. Luckily, our two main ingredients that we need are these things right here. I do need a little bit of water and a little bit of butter, but... Eh, they're all right. So basically, all we're doing here is we're popping them open, scraping the filling off, which is going to play part for our icing, and then we're putting our cookies that are now opened out to the side because this is actually going to be our cake batter, believe it or not. And we're going to do this process with about 20 of these babies. So we have our soon-to-be batter here, and we have our soon-to-be frosting here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take these cookies, throw them in this baggie, and completely crush them up until they're almost powder. You want to get them closest to powder as possible. I started to realize that you could literally just roll the frosting off of these, as you might have seen this little time lapse I just did. So we're just going to throw them all into the baggie here, and also, again, Credit to Joe from After Prison Show for this whole procedure and everything. I just thought it was crazy myself, and I wanted to see if this was actually real, which I'm, you know, 90% sure it is. But I just have to see it for myself because it just looks fun as hell, and it's so simple to do. You can kind of just pretend that you're beating somebody over the head with a sock full of soap. You know what, I actually gotta go take a break and come back to this shit. 
I think it's just about as good as it's gonna get. I got most of this, I would say at least 80% of this looking like the bottom of a bag of cereal. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to take our batter and we're going to pour it into our glass bowl. I'll tell you what though, this takes a lot of damn patience. If I was in prison though, this would probably be the most fun I would ever have. Like I would definitely be one of the people trying to do things like this all the time. I could see somebody having like a low key cake baking operation and then having some people under them like crushing down the cookies because this is a long ass process. Boy this layer of cake is looking thick as fuck. Alright, so this is what we're rolling with. There's a few little rocks in here, but at this point I've been slaving away at it and I'm ready to go. I'm impatient, which probably ain't the best thing to be when you're doing something like this. So, here's the weird part. This is probably going to be the weirdest part of this whole thing. You're going to want to take some Pepsi and you're going to pour it in it and I guess some kind of chemical reaction with this actually turns this into like a cake batter. I don't know how it works. I'm assuming it has to do something with the acidic properties in this. I have absolutely no idea, but the point is, it works. Or at least it should work. Now, he Use Pepsi. I was honestly gonna use Coke because I'm kind of a rebel. When Pepsi brings people together, and I'm a prisoner, so I ain't about that. But the Pepsi was actually like 20, 30 cent cheaper. So that's what we're going with. Pour a little bit of that in here. And we're gonna just work it in a little bit at the time. This is looking really, really foamy. I don't know how well my camera's picking this up. And it's getting really mushy, like really muddy. Like it looks like wet graham crackers right now. I already know a lot of people right now are gonna be like, ew, you're pouring Coke in cookies. But the point is is it makes a damn batter, okay, bitch? We're not pouring it in here because instead of using milk, we're dipping cookies in the damn pet. That's not what's going on here. This is like a batter, okay? It's gonna be baked. We're just gonna be whipping this up real good with our prison basting to whatever the fuck. We've been stirring this for a few minutes and I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually got like a cakey consistency to it. Now we only used a little dab of Coke. You don't want to use a lot. You don't want it to be too milky apparently. Just enough to go and get it wet and get it nice and cakey. So this was something I was really curious about when I saw the video and I can tell you right off the bat from tasting the batter is you don't taste a lot of Coke at all when you're doing this if you only use a little bit. You're only using enough to get that chemical reaction and mix it in and make it like a batter. You're not putting enough in to actually taste the Pepsi. All right, so now we got some scalding hot water and you may be wondering how I got this scalding hot water and how we're even baking this cake. Well, we're gonna be doing that in the microwave. So I put this in for about 40 seconds here and I'm just pouring that in just to break down the, cr the icing. And I think I honestly may have used a little too much and I'm spilling this all over the fake wood finish on my particle board desk, which is not good. And basically we got our little dab of butter, our little dab of water, and now we're just going to be breaking that all down into some nice icing, hopefully. Oh my god, that tastes like icing. Alright, so I think I used a little too much water, but I'm gonna let this sit and maybe thicken up a little bit, and we're gonna go actually bake our cake. I start to fall asleep While you talk to me The words you say Melt into my dream I'm in a garden and I think I overcooked it. You burn caramel in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> it's from all dressing. <laughs> Here we got some. It's like a hockey puck. See, the bottom of it wasn't cooking, so I left it in longer. I should have like just it over. <laughs> You're supposed to let it cool down. There's hair. There's a piece of hair. <laughs> it's a human cake. <laughs> I didn't even ice it yet. You're supposed to let it cool down so you can ice it. Feels like I'm eating like hard Play-Doh. <laughs> the frosting's actually pretty yeah, good. <laughs> This is a helmet on the moped. <laughs> it's literally all pieces. It looks like the biscuits at school. <laughs> I've got a real appetite. <laughs> so, as you can see, we tried to make a uh, prison cake. Didn't work so well. That was about four bucks down the drain, but maybe we'll try it again sometime. I don't know. Credit to Joe from After Prison Show for the idea for this whole video. And um, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and maybe check his channel out if you've never heard of it. It's pretty good. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. And I'm not sure what we'll be doing, but I'm sure it'll be pretty cool.
It's been T. And I'm out. Yeah, uh, bass guy, nigga. Fuck you, niggas, bruh. Uh, yeah. Young bass guy came straight to the bitch. Max here, lay him on the floor like a mattress. Young bass guy in the Olympics. Stay fucking bitches. Got the chopsticks with extensions. Got my dick hoe.